Hi, today we'll cover how to transfer an ebook that you've checked out from OverDrive onto your e-reader. First, let's find a book to check out. You can either search LinkCat at www.linkcat.info or visit the Digital Download Center at dbooks.wplc.info. For today's purposes, I'll search the Digital Download Center for a currently available ebook. We'll select a title. We'll select the burning land and add to my cart. We'll proceed to checkout. Select our library system. We're in the South Central Library System and type in your library card number. At this page, to confirm our checkout, we can also we also have the option of changing our checkout period from 7 to 14 days. So 14 days is my default. Confirm the checkout, and then click on the green download button in order to download the title to your device or to your computer. Click on OK for the next window, and Adobe Digital Editions will automatically open up and download the item. Before I transfer this title to my device, a couple of important notes about Adobe Digital Editions. So I'm going to go back to our Digital Download Center and show you where you can download Adobe Digital Editions. It's in the bottom left corner. Select Adobe Digital Editions and select this to download the, the software. One of the things you'll need to do in order to use an e-reader is activate Adobe Digital Editions using an Adobe ID. So you'll need to create an account and then when you um, plug in your device for the first time, you'll need to activate your device using that same Adobe ID. That's how Adobe Digital Editions knows that it's able to transfer a title from Adobe Digital Editions to your device. So make sure you do that before you download your first ebook. So let's go back to Adobe Digital Editions. As I mentioned, we can read the book right here. But let's click on Library View to see everything we have available in our Adobe Digital Editions collection. Notice the banner here in the right corner that says 14 days. That's when the book will expire, when our checkout period is up. The drop-down arrow in the upper left corner of the book will give you some additional options. We can open the item, delete it, get more information about the item, and return the borrowed item. Ebooks are the only items within, Adobe, within OverDrive that you can return early, and you have to do that from within Adobe Digital Editions. When the item is expired, select Delete Item to remove it from your collection. Now, to transfer it to our device, I have a Nook here that I'll plug in. A pop-up window will open up asking you what you'd like to do with your Nook. We'll select Take No Action and click OK. And notice that the Nook is now on the left side of the screen. In order to get the title from here onto the Nook, we select it with our mouse and drag it down to the Nook. The item is now there, so if we click the Nook, we can check that. Here is the title we just transferred, and also show other items that are on our Nook, including other expired titles. You follow the same uh, instructions deleting the item if you would like to remove this item from your Nook. Eject the Nook from your computer and enjoy your ebook. While I demonstrated with the Nook today, this process is the same for other supported e-readers. For a list of supported devices, let's go back to the Digital Download Center. Go back to the bottom left corner of the screen and click on Supported Portable Devices. This will bring up a rather long list of items that are supported within OverDrive, both for ebooks and audiobooks. For additional help with OverDrive, downloading, and other any other questions you may have, select Digital Media Frequently Asked Questions. You may find the answer to your question here, or select the WPLC Wiki, and you may find your answer here as well. If you need additional help, please contact your local library. Thank you, and enjoy your ebooks.